Hello guys. Hi, it's me, Mingo. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, but uh disclaimer. This has nothing to do with Glee, this has nothing to do with Sam Sadie's. Um, this is really pretty much just to do with the Sims. I was so excited, you guys. You guys have no idea how excited I was. While I was working, I got a notification and it said that I won. And I mean, I saw it as like a quick message and I just saw I won. I was like, you know what? I don't know what that was. Maybe it's just an email and I disregarded it. Backstory, recently The Sims has released a expansion pack called Island Living, which gives The Sims, you know, the chance to live on the beach and, you know, have an island life and, oh my god, when I saw the trailer, I was like, I want this! I want this so bad! I want this now! I want this right now! I want this right now! And the sims is something me and my daughter we both play um she plays on her computer and then i play on mine and we compare the sims that we create in their lives that we you know have them live whatever and when we saw the trailer for island living and we saw the mermaids and we saw you know all the extra stuff that they have for the island living we wanted it so bad so i checked on the price and i mean i can be a little i can be a bit of a penny pincher but when it comes to things that me and my daughter are very, very passionate about, I am like quick to just be like, you know what? Let's throw balls to the wall and get it. And but it's forty dollars, so that'll be like eighty dollars, forty dollars for me, and of course forty dollars for my daughter, so she could have her own to play. And I just was like, mm, I'm not feeling that, you know. And the good thing about the Sims is that. <clears throat> Though they charge crazy prices for their expansion packs, they frequently have sales. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to wait till they have a sale and then I'll buy it. But then I went on Twitter and I follow a lot of people who play The Sims as well. And they were, um, some of the big time YouTubers that play The Sims were giving out The Sims expansion pack for free, y'all. So I, uh, put my name down for every contest I could think of. I was like, man, I need to win this because I, I really don't feel like paying $40 for it. Um, even though I really, really, really want it, you know? So, um, so I just kept putting my name down for different ones. And I know the first one that I applied, um, I'm not say applied for, it's not like I'm applying for a job or something, but the first one that I put my name down for, I didn't win. Somebody else won, and it blew my day away. Like, I was so saddened by it. I know, lame, bigger problems out there in the world, but that really, like, <sighs> it kicked me down a peg. But it, I think it was because I was already having a really bad day, so when I didn't win, it made me have an even worse day. You understand what I'm saying? So... Uh, I, I completely gave up. I was like, I never win these things. I don't even know why I put my name in them. I never win contests, raffle tickets, uh, chance of whatever, a lottery. I don't even play the lottery, but if I did, I wouldn't win because I never win. And if I get like those little scratch off tickets, I get the thing that says you get another scratch off ticket, but I never win anything. So I completely gave up. And then, of course, Yesterday, while I was working, I got the notification that I did, in fact, win. Someone, um, one of the contests I put my name in, they pulled my name first, or whatever. They tagged my name first on Twitter, and they're like, hey, you won. How can we hook you up with this? And I lost it. I screamed my daughter's name so loud, she thought I was playing, and she didn't really pay attention until later. She was like, what, mom? Like, why are you screaming my name so much? And I was like, girl, I won. And we both just started screaming, and her dad was like, you guys are really losing your minds over the Sims game. I was like, hell yeah, this is it. But anyways, you know for me rambling, I just rambled for like five minutes straight about this. So anyways, um, now, I already had a family. I made them move to the island. I know I could have just easily made the um, 
Sam Sadie's moved to the island, but I really wanted to play it like now, and I didn't want to mess up Sam Sadie's story, and so I just went to the other game that I had with the new family, and um, I had a single Sam who was dating a guy, they got married, and she was pregnant. I thought she was going to have just one baby, you guys, and when she started giving birth, guess what happened? She had not only one baby, Rowan, and then next thing you know, she had Isaiah, and I was like, okay, I can deal with two, even though it's a surprise, and then she had little Miss Raina, and I lost it, I was like, what, where are all these babies going to go, we only had like one bedroom, so I was like, you know what, this is a good time for them to move to the island, y'all. So I moved them to the islands, and um, this is the um, this is their master bedroom, and this is where the Sims um, Sims. This is where the triplets are sleeping currently. They're just kids. I mean toddlers. So I really don't put too much thought into their room because they are only toddlers for like five days um, Sims time. And um, this is like their uh, patio and. Um, this is their one of their bathrooms, and it's, this is the downstairs, um, the kitchen. Um, let me turn on all the lights so that you guys can see. Any day now, turn on all lights. So this is the kitchen, and this is like their living room, and this is like a little room because they do work from home. Well, she works from home. He's a conference. Oh God, I can conserve conservationalist. I cannot talk. It's late at night again. I don't know why I do this at night, but it is what it is. This is when I get quiet time. He's a conservationalist. He helps, you know, the um, the island stay nice and clean and all that jazz. So um, yeah. Anyways, so this is like their home. I mean, isn't this adorable? I mean, look at this, like, come on, how cute is this house, but uh, this is just temporary, once they actually, um, once the toddlers turn into children, they will be moving into a better house, but, like, look at this, <sighs> come on, look at this view that they have, look at this, come on, come on, do you understand now, do you get it, it's like, amazing, Amazing. Anyways, I want to show you guys the house they're gonna move to. Oh, why did I? Why did I click on that? Okay. Anyway, now. All right. I want to show you guys the um, the house they're going to move to, and uh, which is right over there. It was like right across the. You know. I can't even talk. I'm so excited, you guys. I've been. Uh. Anyways. Let me show you. Okay, all right. I didn't want to watch, let you guys watch the loading screen because it takes forever. So um, back and let's go take a look at the house that they're going to move into. Oh, I made you guys not wait for the loading, only to get back into the loading. Isn't this like bananas? Ugh. I should just like pause this, but you know what? Whatever. It'll be back up in a minute and. You will get a nice view of how amazing this house is. One of the um, big time YouTubers, Sims players, um, created this house. And the way she built this house, I wish I knew how to build, but I can't. I, I, I tried and it just never looks right. These people are like freaking architects. Like the houses they build are just out of this world. And she did an amazing job with this house. Some of the things I didn't um, bring over, um, but she has her own YouTube channel where you can see how she built the house. Um, I can't remember her name, but I will link it below when I do remember it. So, but um, let me go from uh, from far and just give you a nice glimpse of this is this is it right here. This is the house. This is the house they're gonna move to. Once the kids are, once the toddlers are kids, um, and 
here will be the master bedroom right here. And this will be the boys' room. And this will be Raina's room. She's the only girl, so, you know, she gets her own room. There's a nice little deck out here where they, you know, can chill or whatever. Um, this floor, you can see the water through the floor. How awesome is that? Um, yeah, so, like, it's... Oh, my God. I just can't even express how excited I am to play this. Um... I can't wait till they turn to kids because as toddlers, they're really just a pain in the butt to be honest with you. Wait a minute, did I put, um, but yeah, so they pre-made everything, um, so the house is just ready to move in. I want to show you the toddlers in a minute here. I want to show you what the toddlers look like because they are so cute i mean the mom and dad um were very good looking parents so of course the kids are gonna look amazing so i just wanted to show this house really quick so now let's go back to the i think they're called menendez i don't even remember the name i gave them y'all <laughs> okay. Alrighty, any day now. Alright, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and click here and see. So I can show you. Look, look at that. Look at this family. Her last name is no longer Cassie, Cassie Blackburn because she got married to homeboy right here and okay now I don't know if you remember in the last or if you have watched the last video I made I mentioned that if you make your sims start out you know a little bit thick or you know or if you made them slim that you could eventually make them change so he had a dad bod like out of this world he was a big dicky dicky dick but he's been working out so much that he actually lost weight. I mean, let me see if he lost all of it. But he's like, look at look at that. He okay, he lost all the weight because he had a gut. When she met him, he was like that. I think a little bigger than that actually. He was like this. So because he's been working out and he's been swimming a lot, he lost a lot of weight. Um. So that's um. Eddie and this is Cassie she had a tan earlier but she lost it so that's their mom Cassie isn't she pretty she's so pretty and this it was the here's the firstborn Rowan Rowan is so cute look at his little floaty look, at, look how cute he is Rowan is adorable and he's independent. Boy, is he a little badass. And this right here is Isaiah. Look at those curls. Tell me he's not the cutest. You tell me he's not cute. Come on. And then, of course, baby girl, Raina. How cute. She has her mom's purple eyes and brown hair. She is just... Look how cute the little ruffles. Oh, I want to show you her outfits for like every day. It's so cute. Tell me that's not cute. Oh my god, I just want to eat her cheeks. She is so cute. I just can't even. How, how cute is that? I mean, the little boys are cute too, but I feel like Reina is so freaking adorable. I just feel like there's more you can do for little girls and boys. Because, like, you, you know, they can wear so many different things, and you can do so many different things when it's um, little girls. And the boys are kind of limited. Look. Okay, I don't know why his hair turned this color. Let me change that. Because it's brown, okay? 
You ain't got no blonde in your family. But look how cute he is. Look at those eyes. Alright, anyways. So, those are the triplets. And... Um, I want to show you more of an island living, but I don't want to make this video so long. I just wanted to show how excited I was for getting island living. I'm just so excited. And I do want to thank the people that actually gave it to me for free. And it's called The Sims VIP. And they are doing more giveaways. I don't know if it's going to be on Twitter, but I would suggest following them. It is Sims VIP. Alright, and so this is right now Island Living. This is where Eddie works and he just pretty much cleans up around uh, the island to make sure everything is nice and he studies the, you know, animals, well the fish I should say because there there's not really that many animals, um, frogs, um, turtles, um, there's dolphins, um, uh, and it's just it's so freaking pretty. I, I, I wish I could show you a dolphin, but I'm pretty sure anyone who's watching Island Living videos has already seen so many other people show the freaking dolphins. And the dolphins are so... It looks... They did a good job. I know some people are saying that they're bored with Island Living. I just got it yesterday. Uh, I'm, I, I have an obsessive nature. I obsess over whatever it is that I like and I put everything into it and I drill myself into it so I don't see myself getting bored with it because I just have that kind of obsessive nature where I don't get bored with things easy and I tend to you know obsess with things that's all I can say so I just want to show the water really quick because like, they did a really good job with the water which I wish so we can go under underwater but look at that tell me that's not pretty and I think somebody's swimming the neighbor probably look at that anyway I'm getting error messages um, and that usually happens when you get a new update um, oh there goes a dolphin or well catfish I thought I saw a dolphin I got excited Whatever. I haven't met a mermaid yet. Um, and I don't know if I really want to, but I haven't met one yet. Um, I guess that's all I want to show really quick. I don't want to make this video so long. <sighs> Thank you for coming back and watching. Um, I don't know if eventually I'm going to make Sam and Mercedes move out to the island. That would be amazing. But... I'm just, I'm just so in love with this island. Come on, look at this cute family. Look at them, just so cute. Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, leave a comment below, and if you have island living, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, um, or if you plan on getting it, um, just leave a comment. I really want to eventually grow this channel. I don't know where I'm going with it. And if it's going to be a hobby, more than likely it will be a hobby. Because I need to learn how to edit first before I even try to go any further. So thank you for watching. Bye.